we come now to our opportunity to say sorry to God. Sorry for those things that we've done that we regret. Sorry for those things that we haven't done and wished we had. We can come to God to say sorry at any time. But sometimes it's good in a corporate sense to come to God and to hear the words of forgiveness that God gives, whether we're on our own or whether we're together, but to hear them pronounced can be very helpful and just remind us of God's great love for us and his desire to reach out with forgiveness. So I'm going to read a traditional uh, confession at the end of which I will say, Lord, in your mercy, and I invite you to say, hear our prayer. I will then give the absolution and then I will read uh, a short prayer, one of the prayers for the day. So shall we pray? Just a moment of quiet to call to mind anything particular that we want to acknowledge before God. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And hear the words of forgiveness. May the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins. May he heal and strengthen us by his Spirit. And may he raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. God our Creator, who in the beginning commanded the light to shine out of darkness, we pray that the light of the glorious Gospel of Christ may dispel the darkness of ignorance and unbelief, shine into the hearts of all your people, and reveal the knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. We're now going to have two readings, one from Colossians, Paul's letter to the Colossians, and one famous words from the beginning of John's Gospel. Both readings reflect on who Jesus is and what he has done for us, and also how we can know him. And we will be reflecting on the Gospel reading from John in a few minutes. <clears throat> 